Hello and welcome back to my 100 year old Pleasant View. Uh, today I'm going to show you what happened with the Pleasant family. Now again one of our starting families when you start a new Pleasant View save. Uh, the Pleasants of course anything but. Um, they still live, or the main family still lives in the classic Pleasant house over here though I have made some modifications. And I'll also look at the other two families that have spread out uh, to this side of the map as well. So let's dive in and meet the next generation or two of Pleasants. So here we have the classic Pleasant House. It still has a lot of its original features, uh, including the pool at the back. But we have added a uh, hot tub and some sporting equipment for the family. And I'll show you the rest of the house. So the family at one point got quite big, so I did some extension work. And my favourite way to extend has always been just whack a rectangle on the back and um, add some rooms to it. And so that's what we did with um, the Pleasant House. I've extended their sort of dining and entertainment room space, um, bedroom at the back, a dedicated drum room which used to be the nursery, and a bedroom downstairs as well as many bedrooms still upstairs. So at the moment the only people in the house are the current generation of children I suppose. Bryce is the eldest of uh, the most recent set of children and his daughter Phoebe is here. We then have his younger brothers Brody and Bri Brandon. Uh, they are teenagers and their parents are Mallory and Adam Pleasant. So first things first, let's have a look at the family tree. So when you start the game, you have Daniel and Mary Sue living here with their terrible, tin, uh, terrible teen twin daughters, Angela and Lilith. They are fighting all the time and they don't get on very well at all. Uh, in my game, the main conflict ended up being sort of what they wanted to do with their lives, where they wanted to go. Lilith ended up more focused on kind of career and progression, whereas Angela really wanted to make a family. And she ended up marrying, uh, we can go over here and have a look. She married Dustin Broke, married into the Broke family, whereas Lilith stayed at home. She stayed in the Pleasant household. She married Dirk, Dirk Dreamer. And then together they had, they had three children. They had Mallory, who is the single, who was the first, and then twin sons, Ethan and Owen. And they've moved out and we'll go and see them a bit later on. Mallory uh, met her husband Adam at university actually he was a dormy um, but she didn't really she's a romance sim she didn't really want to kind of tie herself down that soon she didn't want to be stuck with the first sim she'd she'd met she brought him home anyway just to kind of you know it's fun to do uh, and they started living together and getting on quite well they both sort of sought other relationships they've both got multiple lovers throughout the town but they kind of kept coming back to each other they sort of found that, well, they had three bolts. They did try out other people. Um, Mallory, for example, had a relationship with Peter Otimus, uh, Leonardo Caliente, <laughs> and some others she was attracted to, but she never really found a reason to, to leave. They didn't marry for a long time, and they had their first child, Bryce. Kind of by accident, they didn't intend to have him, I don't think. Mallory wasn't completely sold on the idea of children. She wanted to focus on her career. She was previously a journalist in the magazine career, magazine editor in the journalist career, and didn't really want to kind of give that up for for Adam, basically. Uh, but then they had Bryce, and they kind of got along just fine. Um, Brody came a little bit later. There's quite quite a big gap between those two. I think Brody's off to college uh, this rotation, um, and that was also when she decided to get married. So Mallory didn't get married for a long time. They got married pretty late in their adult lifespan. A lot of that was because Mallory didn't want to give up her career or sort of compromise herself. She thought she might be looking for other relationships uh, as time went on. But then she found really Adam was her best her best bet. They've got three bolts. They really love each other. They're quite in sync. They're both romance sims, but they just sort of, they get along really well. Uh, they've not, never minded each other having other relationships. They're not too jealous. But in the end, they thought each other was the perfect person. Um... So yeah, when they actually got married, it was because Dirk, who was the family sim, I think that's right, yeah, because Lilith wasn't family sim, but Dirk was, uh, Mary wanted to, he just kept rolling once for the, you know, to have a, a wedding in the family, more grandchildren, all the sort of family sim wants, and as he got to the end of his life, Mallory thought, well, it can't hurt, we'll have a wedding, we'll have the same surname, all our family had the same surname, and it'll make Dirk really happy, and it did, it sent him into platinum, uh, I think when he died, he was platinum, and so that was lovely. Now, you will notice there is a third child that's Brandon. 
Brandon was a product of uh, an ACR failure <laughs> at some point. ACR stopped working in my game uh, in the sense that it was still doing everything else. It was making Sims try for babies autonomously, woohoo autonomously, just have a great time. But it stopped the fertility curve <laughs> completely. So even though Mallory was pretty close to being an elder uh, and should have been impossible for her to get pregnant, she did. And along came surprise baby Brandon. But he's here now and he's great. He takes after the, uh, if I show you his face a little bit, he's got the classic long nose of uh, Lilith, I think, has this nose. And we'll see it with the twins as well, with Ethan and Owen. Uh, one of them got that very prominent feature, as did his daughters. Uh, so yeah, so it's nice he came along. And so the family's been pretty, pretty chill ever since. I've always given them all quite an alternative look, kind of... <laughs> No, ripped clothes, ripped jeans, kind of a rock and roll feel, particularly Adam. I think he was a chef, he wasn't in the end. Yeah, he was an executive chef. Uh, he didn't go into the music career, but uh, they always wanted to, so that's kind of, that's been their vibe for the whole, the whole family. Now you are seeing that uh, Brandon here has, sorry, Bryce here has a baby. This is Phoebe Pleasant. Now Phoebe um, is the product of... Well, legally, and as far as anybody knows, Bryce just adopted her. She turned up at the house and he's thought, yes, I'm going to be a father. He doesn't have a steady relationship at the moment. There's nobody he's kind of with particularly, but um, he wanted a baby. Now, that is not the truth. And in classic, pleasant style. Oh, here's Mallory now. She's home. She's in a lovely black dress. I like to dress her in black. Uh, so, yeah, in, in classic, pleasant style, there is there are secrets under the surface in this family still, despite their very wholesome image they are not telling themselves or the town the whole truth. And the truth is that when Bryce was in college, he threw a party and somebody came to that party that shouldn't have done. Someone who was too young for him, really. <laughs> so they end up having a romance. And Phoebe is a product of that. Uh, mother's identity is a secret at the moment. I'm sure it'll all come out at some point. Uh, but because uh, she's adopted, her her parentage is only is only Bryce. She was given up for adoption as part of an agreement and then she now just lives with Bryce and when she grows up that's all she'll know unless the family chooses to tell her the truth. He does have some attraction to Marcelina in town, Marcelina Pukulski, who is available. Um, well she's married actually or she's going to be uh, so that could be something he pursues but for now he's focusing on his career which is to be the nightclub. Oh he's actually already a nightclub host. So I have this casual career replacement in the game. So this replaces the slacker career with casual work. And it's very easy for Sims to shoot up it. And he already fulfilled his lifetime want really, really young. So he's permaplat from... Uh, he's got 24 days left. So he's an elder. He's got tons of time. So he's living a pretty chilled out life. He's wanted to join the criminal career for a long time. And I have locked that in for him. Uh, but, well, he's a fortune sim. And he's making tons of cash. Uh, and he's a pleasure sim as well. Oh, sorry, he's a pleasure sim. Uh, he's making tons of cash. He's got a very chill, chill work life. Oh, and there's a fire. <laughs> it can't be anything but dramatic. It's all right, Genesis. It's raining. It's going to be fine. Everyone gather around. God. Bryce, run right up to the fire and look at it. Oh, it's... Okay. I swear these summer storms are going to kill all the sims in my game. So, yeah, so he's a pleasure sim. I think... What is he secondary? Pleasure Sim, Secondary Fortune. So right at the moment, he's got a chill job making loads of money. So there's not really much reason for him to change careers. But I've had that locked in just because it could be fun in the future. can do something a bit more a bit more risky. When everyone's hungry, why don't you serve some dinner? Let's all have burgers. So his younger brothers, we have Brody. who will be moving to college, I think, tonight, actually. He'll be heading out. He already has a boyfriend, which is Harvey Newson. And he's also attracted to Jensen, who's here at the moment. So... <laughs> He's, uh, he's keeping his options open, I suppose. Uh, but he's also a pleasure sim. That seems to run in the family. And his lifetime one is... Also to become a nightclub host. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, he's going to have to get uh, Brandon to move... Uh, sorry, have to get Bryce to move out of the way for him to do that. And then the youngest, little Brandon. He's a romance sim. He, I don't think... No, he has no attraction at the moment. Uh, but he is attracted to male sims. Are you, are you trying to joke to... No, not attracted to Jensen, though. And that's fine. Um, yeah, he's a romance sim. He's um, wants to make some friends in town uh, with Dorothy Goth and with Sophia Lothario. But he's very young. He's only just turned, uh, turned to a teenager. He's got 11 days till he 
goes to college. So he's got his whole life ahead of him pretty much to uh, choose what he wants to do. So this is the main Pleasant House. This is the one I kind of consider sort of the... The kind of legacy of the Pleasants goes through this house. You know, there's a direct line from... Uh, Daniel and Mary Sue, down to Lilith, and down down to Mallory, and to Bryce. And Phoebe, who I think makes it generation four. Uh, oh no, so Phoebe will be the fifth generation of the Pleasants. And it's nice that Mallory and, as I said, Mallory and Adam waited quite a long time to have babies, so they won't see all their children, you know, have their families when they grow up. But they've got to meet Phoebe, look after Phoebe and be in her life, so that's quite nice for them to have an interaction with their grandchild. So Mallory is the eldest of the three pleasant children that Lilith had. Uh, we'll now go and look at her brothers and see how they're getting on. So of course it's now raining in the world map. But the other two pleasant boys of the original uh, Lilith sons live in these two houses, not too far away from uh, Mallory and her children. So we have uh, the first pleasant... The first pleasant twin is Owen. And for a long time, Owen had the most respectable life of anyone. We'll go into his story in a bit. And his twin, Ethan, has really only recently moved out with his three children, his triplets, to this house just uh, out the back. Uh, I like to think they can still kind of cross over if they want to. For a long time, uh, Owen's twins and the triplets all lived together and were just like a big, happy bunch of kids having a great time. Uh, but it got a bit too crowded. As you can see, there is a new baby here as well. And uh, we'll head into Owen's house now, and I'll uh, I'll go through the details. So here is Owen's house. Uh, so it's quite a nice space. Lots of bedrooms. The twins have the ground floor bedroom. And upstairs there's open space uh, to be used for the mystery baby. Well, not such so a mystery in this household. So Owen initially married, had children. It was all going absolutely fine. And as you can see, some child support has just come in from Penelope Burb. So what happened was that way back when um, Penelope and Owen were married, they had their twins, Olivia and Amelia. And then Penelope found that she wasn't so interested in Owen in a quiet, pleasant life, because Owen was trying to be a respectable pleasant. Uh, so she instead married Adam Burb, a descendant of John and Jennifer Burb. This is a fairly complex family tree, I apologise. <laughs> we'll stick with Penelope. And then they had three children, so they now have uh, Lucas, Savannah, and Ashley, a very late addition. She turned up as a little surprise, uh, but there's now five total children that are related on Penelope's side. Uh, for a very long time, Owen wow. carried a torch for Penelope. He really didn't want to get over the fact that they'd broken up. He was devastated by it, but also still loved her. He didn't want to kind of give her up at that time. Uh, so it took him a long, long time to move on. Uh, and when he did, he did it fairly spectacularly. <laughs> He went overboard. Uh, so he's currently living with his daughter, Lily, who still has a pixelated face for some reason. I wonder why that's happened. Protect her identity, maybe. Um, he met two women fairly close together. He met Leah Broke and his current wife, I think. Did they get married? Yes. And Yvette. I think she was Yvette Smalls or Stalls or something. Um, and he fell in love with both of them and had a baby with each of them at very similar times. There we go. No more pixel face. So yeah, so he kind of at the point when his daughters were teenagers and thinking about moving on, moving out of the house, he had a bit of an implosion and uh, had simultaneous relationships with two women. He ended up marrying Yvette, so she lives here now, she lives in this house. And when she moved in, got pregnant, um, that's when he was seeing Aaliyah elsewhere in town. <laughs> but at that point, so until then, we'd had both Owen and Ethan... Ethan's triplets and uh, Owen's twins living in this one house. When Yvette moved in and was pregnant, it was just not practical anymore to have so many Sims in one house. Uh, Ethan's wife had died a lot earlier because she was a lot older than him. But even so, there was just not enough space. Uh, there was not enough time for me to play with everyone and kind of get to know them. So I separated out the households because they both are pretty high in their careers by the time they retired. He was a senior professor and Ethan is a uh, was head of the music career. Top of that career. Uh, so they've moved out, but not too far away. They still kind of see each other all the time. Uh, and are all pretty much best friends with, I think... Yeah, so these are some of the triplets in here. And they've got full relationships because they kind of co-parented their, their kids, especially because they both had multiples. It is all hands on deck when there's multiples uh, in this game. So they quite happily pitched in to help with each other's kids 
Now, Ethan did move in after uh, Penelope cheated and moved out, so that's kind of where that all started. And uh, it all worked out. So Yvette currently is working. She's a family sim. She's a vice president in the business career, which is pretty handy. And Owen is bringing in his pension of a good amount of simoleons every day. And his daughter's Amelia, uh, who takes quite a bit after... Well, they're quite, both a good, ben, good blend of the Pleasant and uh, Penelope's genes. But they are both about to move out to college, I think. Yeah, in two days they'll be going. So before the end of this season, they'll be out into the college bin and they'll be in the college rotation for next season. They have currently what I think is a very cute room. I'm loving these um, Sims 4 conversions. They're so good. Let's see if I can tell you who. So yeah, this was converted by Little Little Simmies on Tumblr or X Mathy X on Mother Sims. And they're absolutely gorgeous. I thought they were a great addition to a teenage girl's room. A little wicker egg chair with lights. Looking lovely. So Owen was a fortune Well, he is a fortune sim. He got his lifetime once, I think. Ah, he maxed out his um, grid. So he's got all his re reward points. And that's why he's platinum. And he's only just become an elder. He's got quite a lot of um, life left to live. So hopefully when these daughters come back... Uh, he'll still be there and we'll kind of decide or i'll decide at that time kind of who moves back who moves on it'll depend on who they meet at college and where they decide to go uh, in terms of what happens next in their lives uh, but a uh, yes amelia is a knowledge sim who wants to sneak out with all the boys in town so that's fun and also has a part-time job her job is in journalism like her uh auntie mallory and olivia is a fortune sim but doesn't have a part-time job. I think she got fired. I think she's in athletics and then had a bad chance card. <laughs> but she also wants to uh, go to university and uh, live her life there. Oh, she's brought her half-sister home. So the twins, although their mother moved out when they were pretty young, they don't really um, interact all that much with that family. So I think she's still got a full relationship with her. Mother, yeah, it never really decayed, never really dropped off. Uh, they've sort of stayed friends this whole time. And they're kind of okay. So, yeah, the baby in the house is Yvette and Owen's baby, and she is Lily. I thought that um, Owen would want to name her after his grandmother, Lilith, and Lily would be a nice, a nice choice. And his other child, so his fourth daughter, uh, with Aaliyah, is Ramona Broke, and she is living with Aaliyah across town and he hasn't really interacted much with her or at all I don't think they were kind of a one night stand situation in the end they haven't kept up their relationship uh, but yes from two children for a long long time to four very quickly uh, Owen kind of tapped into his pleasant genes a bit later on in life when uh, when he otherwise had been living a fairly peaceful life with his siblings sibling and many many nieces and nephews so they're playing catch very nice uh, so we'll have to get them to apply to college at some point but in the meantime we will move over to uh, Ethan's family and meet the triplets so Ethan lives at the back of uh, Owen's house just across the field uh, with his children and we'll go and meet them now so here we have the other Pleasant family the last kind of true named Pleasants in the town starting with Ethan who is working out doing some lovely dancing uh, Ethan has been a music lover his whole life. He was top, I think, of the... Yes, he got top of the music career. He was a rock god. And through music, through the music career, is how he met his wife. So we go back to the family tree. Look at their mother. So Alessandra was um, working in the same career as him. She came home with him one day from work and they hit it off pretty much immediately. It was um, love at first sight, as far as I could tell. They, their relationship shot up, they had all the bolts, it was a fantastic time, and with their shared love of music, of course they were going to get married, and they did. Now when Alessandra moved in, um, I learned that she was literal days from ageing up, so she would not be able to get pregnant. There was not going to be that as an option, and they both had wants at that time uh, to have babies, and I also did want to see what Ethan's genetics would turn out like, because Ethan has that pleasant nose. Uh, it's pointy. It's there. And I thought, well, how long can it get? We have to find out. Uh, so what they ended up doing was using the uh, Alexander Goth methods. Uh, Ethan became pregnant with their genetic baby, with Alessandra's genes. And he carried uh, their children. Or what I thought at the time was their child. 
<laughs> obviously, I was thinking, oh, they'll have one baby, that'd be lovely. That'd be absolutely fine for them. But instead, uh, they had triplets. Obviously, Ethan and Owen themselves are twins, and they've both had multiples, so I assume that is a small genetic component at least. But here they are. So we have Julia, and I gave them all kind of Italian names uh, because of Alessandra. Uh, so we have Julia. Who is here? She is uh, blonde with blue eyes. We have Martina, who inherited um, the pleasant red hair. And has blue eyes too. And we have the boy, which is Rocco, who also has blonde hair. Uh, and blue eyes as well. So yeah, the triplets are a lot of fun. They It's a bit chaotic when you have a household with twins and with triplets. But as you can see from their age bars, they've literally just aged up to... Um, to being teenagers so there was a bit of a gap between um oh so many names in this episode i'm trying to keep hold of <laughs> between emilia and olivia and then these three there was a little bit of a gap so my sanity wasn't completely wrecked oh thinking about adoption rocco uh, so now the teenagers julia is a romance sim in the fine tradition of the family martina is a pleasure sim like her cousins and rocco is a family sim which I think was like Alessandra. I think Alessandra was a family sim. Uh, and he is studying away, getting some cooking skill points before he goes to college. He has a long time before college, but it's never too early to start. Uh, I love with having things like having triplets sort of sorting out their fashions, their different identities. <laughs> oh, vicious, vicious, Julia. They also have a dog who is called Jake. And this is for Ethan because he's now kind of, he hasn't got another job. They've got plenty of money. They've got 31,000 simoleons. A great big house with plenty of space for everyone. Just about. <laughs> and a pool. He doesn't need to work anymore. He got to the top of his career. But he is alone by himself in the day. Um, so it, they got Jake to be, well, all the kids wanted the dog. Uh, but it is, of course, Ethan who'll be looking after it. And when they go to college, he'll be the one uh, who I think ultimately will be Jake's master. I've been thinking about him potentially finding another relationship, maybe. He had an old a relationship with Ali Moody that didn't really go all the way. He's got plenty of attraction around town uh, with lots of sims. But I also think he's a popularity sim. He's got lots of friends. He, um, he definitely likes to hang out with people and have parties and invite people around. Um, but maybe romance isn't something. After Alessandra, it was, a, it was a true love story, I felt, between those two. And he's got the triplets to look after. He's only just, again, become an elder, so he's got lots and lots of time, hopefully, <laughs> to um, figure out what his next steps are. For now, he's looking after the, the teenagers, uh, making sure they're okay, looked after, having a lovely furnished house all of his own, because obviously he lived with his brother for a very long time. Uh, he's got his piano, which is his pride and joy. Uh, so we'll see where the future takes them. These have been um, a fun story to play out. Having them all in one house and then moving them out has kind of been a good, a good journey for them all. And they are, of course... Uh, they do have a lot of good relationships with their siblings and with their cousins as well. Uh, yeah. So yeah, if we just pop back to their family tree. So from Lilith, we've had the three siblings, Mallory, uh, Owen and Ethan, and then they've spread out into many, many more grandchildren because I have no self-control and neither do my sims. And so yeah, so we're currently in generation five, I think. Uh, well, with Phoebe being born in Generation 5, uh, and Generation 4 is doing really well. Pretty spread out in the ages. Lily and Ramona are going to be <laughs> interesting in terms of how far behind they are. They're the same age as Phoebe, which is great. Great job, guys. Uh, which is interesting. We'll see how that goes. They could ultimately end up going to college together <laughs> one day in the far future. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this tour through the Pleasants. Oh, what you can also see is that Herb and um, Coral, oldie, <laughs> I have never played them in all these years, uh, so all their great grandkids are alive. They are also still alive in the old people's home that I tried to build and never played. <laughs> One day I will do something with them, uh, even if I just kill them off, off screen, but currently they're alive uh, and not interacting with anybody. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this tour through my pleasant family tree. This is what the pleasant family currently looks like. I haven't gone too much into Angela's side because that pretty quickly becomes uh, the broke family. Well, instantly, Angela is Angela broke, or she was. Uh, and so these are all kind of broke kids. Uh, more about the broke family tree than the pleasant. But they are also still related to um, Mary Sue and Daniel. Uh, just on the other side of town, other side of the tracks, really, <laughs> we have the broke family. Uh, thanks to Angela's decision to marry Dustin.
so yeah i hope you've enjoyed it uh the triplets have been very well behaved i thought they might um do something, do something dramatic but they're just being very studious and uh, friendly as they like to be so yeah thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed and uh in the next one i'm going to go through the caliente family tree i think now when we come back to my older save just so you can see what i did with them and how they've become really the most powerful family in the town <laughs> thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one and if you did like it please do subscribe and i'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>